Sergeant Sergeant First Class Reagan Bruff, and I am the bass player with the United States Army Blues, stationed in Washington, D.C. as part of the United States Army Band, Pershing's Own. Today I want to talk to you about some jazz bass technique. So, one of the things I see when students first pick up the acoustic bass is that it's big and they're not sure how to, how to hold it. A lot of people will want it to be straight upright, but if you notice when I was playing it, I'm straight and it's leaning into me. And that's really, really important. You want to make sure your posture is straight, that, you're, that you uh, act like you're a puppet. You have a string in the back of your head that's pulling you up so that your shoulders are back and not rounded forward. Not like this. So it's leaning into you. And then where it leans is you put the back part here, right kind of in between your leg and your groin. It's going to let, rest right there. And if you take your hand off, it's going to fall back. And that's just fine. But when it's here, it really doesn't take any force. If I let go, obviously it will fall. But if I hold it just very lightly, it'll stay in place, and that way I'm free to move my left hand. Okay? So that's how you hold it. Lean into you, you stay upright. Okay? Now for the right hand. Um, some of you might have played electric bass. I started on electric bass myself. Um, and when I was taught to pluck electric bass, it was like this. And that's correct. Um, however, on the acoustic bass, the amount of finger that you put on the string has a huge impact on its on the overall sound. So um, instead of just plucking like this, I want you to use your whole finger. Hear a difference between that and this? I do, and I like this. It's much bigger, okay? And that's gonna help you be heard, and that's really, really important um, in any sort of an acoustical musical setting to be heard. So pluck with the full finger on the string, okay? And when you pluck, you pluck through the string. So I, when I pull this D string here, my finger lands here on the A string. It kind of stops it. So I pluck the G string, I go through. Okay. The thumb is going to be anchored either behind or on the edge of the fingerboard. Okay. Like that, can you see? And then the, the plucking motion is actually kind of a squeezing motion. It's mostly the finger, but the, you'll, the thumb is your resistance point to help you get have the leverage to pull the string, okay? Where you pluck also has a huge impact on the sound. So I'm gonna give you three examples about how where you pluck uh, vertically, how it impacts the sound. So here's example one, and think of like maybe an adjective of what it sounds like. Same strength, different spot. Okay, so the principle is, as you get closer to the bridge, you get more attack, or more front of the note, but less body. The higher up here you are, there's lots of body, lots of warmth and ooey gooshy good stuff, but not so much um, attack or front of the note. So generally, on most basses, I've found that at, near the edge of the fingerboard, you get the combination of the two, and that's the sound that I like. But depending on the music and what you're going for, you might want to do it differently. So if you're doing like a ballad and you want it to be really nice and soft. But generally if we go here, that's going to be a really nice sound. So I encourage students who are first starting to learn to play the acoustic bass and want to get a good jazz sound, practice with the metronome and going click, 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 click. And it takes a little bit of coordination to make sure that when I'm going, being able to change strings that I'm not placing my finger on the string and then because then I'm muting it, I'm stopping it. So being able to bring it around and as soon as it touches it, it starts again. So that there's no holes in the foundation because the bass has a very foundational role in music and you don't want like a house built with holes in the foundation. That's not good, right? Same thing with the bass sound. You want it to be consistent. Okay? So be able to do that up and down the strings and you can have a really great bass sound. So, hope you enjoy that and have a lot of fun.